Hello everybody, welcome to episode 6 of Project Sky Q2. Uh, today... I feel like making a... mob farm. Let's see here, I gotta make sure that we were uh, enough blocks away, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yes. All right, this should be the ideal spot for a nice mob farm. Uh, this is just to get started. It's not going to be the permanent final mob solution. In fact, uh, hopefully, we can start getting into that solution in uh, this episode. This is just a simple dark room that, well, if you've watched uh, many of my series or over on Twitch, you would know that this is my go-to dark room setup uh, because of how quick and easy it can be made for down and such. Nothing fancy. It's Something uh, I've been making since oh, quite a while now. Uh, the reason why is like I like the way it looks, I like the functionality, and I haven't. Seen had much issue with it. Uh, I mean, I do have a little bit of issue with it, with uh, how dark you have to make it now, but it's uh, pretty easy still to make, so we still do this what version. Uh, the reason why we have to do it in a uh, darker room now instead of uh, the way we used to be able to do it is uh, the spawning rules have changed a lot for mobs since when we first started doing it. But it still works. For what we need it to do. All right. 
we have to make this about three high. The reason behind it is uh, if you don't make it three high, you're, you're not going to have Endermen. So we have it three high right now inside, so we just want to go up one more. And the reason behind that is, again, the newer spawning rules. We actually have to turn this into a complete dark room. Do you get anything to spawn in here? And so we even have to seal up the ceiling. We can't use half slabs on this because uh, Ew, no, 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 no. We can't use half slabs immediately to the top because I for some odd reason, under uh, one of the new rules, it allows enough light to get in. To this, and yeah, we don't want any light at all to get into this. All right, so. We'll place a half slab there. And now we can uh, press, what is it, F7? F9? Not F9. F7. And we can see that once it gets dark, those should allow spawning. So we're going to have to uh, extend this out like I think it's four on both sides. Do -do -do. They don't have enough stone. So now should be able to come in here and see, yeah, we, we're getting dark X's in the corner, which is good. We want the red X's, so might be three more. Out. One, two, three, two, three on both sides. see now we're getting X's for a good portion of this so uh, let's see here what about two more now I know it's not that many out from it 
and I do know we're going to need to get up there to half slab this. Because moths still can't spawn on half slabs. Unless you doubled them up. Or put them on the top portion. Most people forget, or most people hear, oh, they don't spawn on half slabs, means all half slabs. Nope. Okay, it's not spawning on this one, which is fine. Which is fine. But now we can back away from that. And uh, while that's processing, getting some mobs started here, I wanted to go into this and start working on a new mod I have never played with. It is called Easy Mob Farms. So I have never played with this. Um, I think I would like to get two small urns at least, right? At least two small urns which requires Eyes of Ender. Maybe witch bottles? So we're gonna need some soul sand, some flint, and glass bottles. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, did we have leftover soul sand from uh, when we did it? Last episode, no. Uh, buckets. We really need to get into simple storage here. There they are. I just need one. Uh, I did make... Additional ones of these. Like I said, I would between episodes. Yeah, I'll let that make its own witch water, but I don't mind. Uh, oh, don't have the witch bottles yet. Okay. Two of those. One, two, one, two. Okay, we've got some witch bottles, which allows us to catch Endermen, witches, slimes. Endermen, witches, and slimes. Okay. Uh, we need an Enderman and Witch farm, which we would like to get one of these done up. Uh, boom. There we go. Now I want a couple of these. Oh, we're out of wood. All right.
All right, now we want uh, two of these made up. Two of the gold barns. Uh, I need one that will allow me to do Enderman. Desert, okay. Jungle. So let's go with the desert. Uh, it requires some more sandstone. Uh, what else were we missing? Okay, these. Dead brush. Okay, salt and saplings. We have salt, right? And we easily have a couple saplings. So now, oak with salt makes the dead brush. Which we now should be able to make the desert farm. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna set this right here for right now. Oh, that's kind of neat. Uh, I'm not sure what's spawned over there yet, but I'm gonna go over here and look. Creeper. Couple of creepers. Just creeps. Just the creeps. Sure, we're going to need a creeper farm here soon enough. Uh, but I think we need one of these ender lassos. Um, which we start out with like a golden lasso, then we'll make it make it with the ender pearls so one of the first mobs we're going to need from that farm is an enderman so let's see here Perfect. make a quick diamond sword Okay, so I, I was just seeing if Silent Gear was in this. This something close by, but I don't know what it is. I'm hoping we get an Enderman soon. Um, while we're waiting for an Enderman to show up, Let's uh, look at simple storage real quick. All right. Simple storage, we need a storage uh, network route, which is stone, diamond, and two iron ingots. Uh, this is actually working quite fast and decent at it, even though this is now back up. I'm going to drop some of these into the other chest here so it can process this. A couple of these. Melter. Go through this. Drop some in here. I would like to keep eight on me so I can 
turn it into that or this. All right, uh, we need a root storage, which is like a set of stone and a diamond and an iron carpet or gold. Ah, I can English. Okay, so we've got us the root. Um, next, I would like uh, one of these drawer controller or storage controller or an obsidian chest. Um, we'll go storage controller. Should have enough uh, iron now. We need three of these, I think it is. Need a lot more oak. Redstone. All right, one, two, three. Three of these. Doesn't need to be perfect. All right. Um, storage inventory is this. Um, I don't have any drawers. I thought I had drawers still. I did. Okay. With this, oh, we're gonna need more uh, iron. We're gonna need another penny. Uh, got a couple of those blocks. I know guys, I'm, I'm trying to think here and thinking and now core doing stuff is kind of hard. Uh, um. Alright, storage controller. more blocks of iron. Not enough iron. We're running out of coal, which is not a good thing. Alright, this should be the blocks I need for this. Uh, I need two diamonds and a little bit more of that. Now we've got the storage inventory. So we've got the storage network group. 
and storage inventory, which will allow us to access our inventories without crafting grid. But I would like the ones with the advanced crafting grids. So, a couple chests, a couple of those, so... Okay, so we can do this... Okay, I don't know what that challenge was that we just got. But apparently they just made six million. All right. Um, which now we can take this, two of these. Two of these. There, now we've got the advanced. Just six diamonds. And now we can make the storage request table. Uh, which will allow us to craft with it. Uh, I want to actually move this from here to here. And I want to set the storage crafting one on top of it. Now, we don't see anything in here just yet. That's where uh, these network cables are going to come in handy. All right. Um, boom. That's 16 of these. So we need linking cables. Uh, I want to link up to certain things like that. I would definitely like to link up to. And all of my storages, I would love to be able to link up to. Um... We're missing some chest here. Sure, why not? Make eight more of those real quick. All right, now all the rest. We're going to make networking cables here. And where they do not connect directly to each other like those. Now, they should all be connected, and we should see our entire inventory, including what is in our drawers. Think, with simple storage, oh, we can't set who's got the highest priority, so that went into a chest somewhere. Uh, right there. So that's how that works. So we've got simple storage set up. Uh, I want to get this remote access, but this is going to require sea lanterns. Sea lanterns require a waterlogged sieve uh, with sand. To do that, we just take our, sand, uh, our sieve here, put it in water, put this in that, take some sand.
and we're getting stuff that would be waterlogged related. Not enough to make uh, enough of the lanterns just yet, but I'll keep doing that between episodes and put it in there. So anyway, I just want to drop all of that in there now. So let's see if we've got us an Enderman. Okay, we've got zombies. Zombie villager. Uh, yeah, we don't have any uh, Endermen. I'm hoping Endermen spawn in this fire. So we can get the rest of these guys. Because we really need a... Uh... We really need an Enderman. I hear the zombie. I just don't see it. Alright, so we'll just wait. Hopefully we get one um, between this episode and next. Because I really want to start working with these mob farms. Uh, anyway, guys, that is all for episode six. Hopefully you liked the episode. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, leave a comment down below. Let me know why you disliked it. And until next time. Later, Gators.